All right, let's wrap up this section with a lecture on sizes. So earlier, when we worked with paddings, I told you that these numbers are not in pixels. I refer to them as units, which is short for device independent units. So let's see what this is all about. Here I've got a 400 by 300 pixel image displayed in an iPhone 6S. Now, if you're not an iPhone user, don't worry about the iPhone model. It doesn't really matter. Now let's see what happens when we launch this application in an iPhone 6S Plus, which is a newer iPhone. Our image looks almost half the size. Why is that? Because newer phones have a higher resolution or higher pixel density. So we have more pixels on the screen, and that's why an image that is 400 pixels wide looks smaller on a device with a higher resolution. The exact same concept applies in Android and Windows phones. The newer models have more pixel density, and if you display an image at its original dimension, it looks smaller on the newer devices. Now, when building cross-platform apps, we want our apps to look more or less the same across different devices, irrespective of their pixel dimensions. That's why we have this concept called device independent units. So in Xamarin Forms, whenever we are working with sizes, these sizes are in device independent units instead of pixels. Now, depending on the target platform, a unit can be converted to one, two, or three pixels. So let's say we have a box view and we set its width and height request to 160. Now, if we launch our application in an iPhone 6S, because we have two pixels to the unit, this box view will be 320 by 320 pixels. And on iPhone 6S Plus, because we have three pixels to the unit, our box view will be 480 by 480 pixels. Now, if we put these screenshots next to each other, you can see that our box view is almost the same size on different devices, but it's not exactly the same. So generally speaking, as a Xamarin Forms programmer, you should not worry too much about the actual size of elements on the screen. Instead, you work with these device independent units and let the operating system decide how to deal with the actual sizes while rendering elements. One last thing, 160 units is a key number. Generally, it translates to one inch. So if you want the width and or height of an element to be one inch, you can set it to 160 units. And that brings us to the end of this section. I hope you enjoyed this section and thank you for watching.